Hey, what's up guys? I am here in Beaumont, California, and I am getting ready to go up a ladder over here, and we are going to be uh, checking out the solar irradiance meter. Uh, it had just rained a couple days ago, and what I want to do is I want to check the panels after it rained and then after we clean them. So I'm going to test them before uh, we clean them, and then I'm going to show you the results after we clean them. So we'll get right to you uh, right after this. And we are going to be checking out uh, these solar panels here. So these solar panels have been um it rained they need to be cleaned as you can see you see bird poop and all that stuff still on it even after uh it had rained so <clears throat> we are going to use uh the solar irradiance meter and i'm going to show you that that is um this right here this machine right here will do several things. It will take the temperature of the solar panels themselves and it will check the degrees to find out what degrees, uh, what angle your solar panels are on. So let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on and see if we can get that there. There you go. And <clears throat> so there's certain functions here and I'm going to use these functions. Hopefully you guys can, can see this. But uh, this function right here is the watts per square meter. Um, not sure if you guys can see that. Zoom in here. Uh, watts per square meter. As you can see right now, it is at 61, and the and the degree of the panel is right here on the bottom. In order to change that from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Basically, we are going to hit this right here, and you'll see this Celsius start to change. So let's hold that. There we go. Move the arrow up, and it turns to Fahrenheit now. So now we're able to check the degree on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on <coughs> the panels themselves there's a certain way to do this right there's this angle here which you don't want you don't want this angle here you want the length of the solar panel so you will actually want to put it down just like this and all you simply do is put this meter right here just along the side just like this okay and what we're going to do is we're going to show you guys <clears throat> what the temperature is before. And let me get situated here. Um, 200 to 300. Okay. And it fluctuates. It's going to fluctuate. And it's about 82 degrees just sitting here on uh, the meter itself so uh, on the panel and what we want to do is we want to make sure that um, we increase this so we're in the neighborhood of about 600 uh, roughly 500 to 600 okay now what we're going to do is we are going to clean all these solar panels once we clean the solar panels, then this number should change. And, um, you know, we, it should change. Now, I want to be able to check the degree on this. So I'm going to check the zero right here. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the function. Okay. That turns it into the degree of the panels themselves. Now, on this case, I'm going to have to go straight up and down okay from the length of the panel itself <clears throat> so we're in an angle of about 14 degrees okay and as you can see this is at 330 so 14.9 degrees as we're here right now and we try to get that closer um, so you guys can actually see that 
okay so we're able to check the angle on that and that's what this does now um, what we're going to do again is we're going to go ahead and clean this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check this uh, with the meter afterwards and see how much of an increase we get on the solar panels themselves after they're clean. What I do is I give my customer my business card, okay? This is a, a card that we have and on the back side of it is my solar inspection. My solar inspection, I'm gonna write down right here 460 and it failed. So I'll do that. I will go ahead and write that down. Let's see here. As a fail, and I'm gonna go 460 is what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna count the total amount of panels. So I got three, six, nine, 12, 14 panels right here. So 14 panels is what I put on here. Average output is 460, but I'm not going to put this down until I after when I clean. When I actually clean this, it's either going to fail or it's going to pass. I can check each and every single panel and they're going to be pretty much almost the same. They should be almost the same. If you find zero on one of them, then you know that that one's not working. So uh, with this, I'll be able to check every single one. And this is what we do as part of our inspection. We go out there and we check that just to make sure. So this goes directly to the customer itself with our business card after we are done. So with that being said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and clean these, get them nice and clean. And then uh, right after that, I'll go ahead and check the inspection check the uh, wattage coming in to make sure that it changed and I will write it down on this piece of paper and I will give this to my customer along with our beautiful pen here and uh, you know they have a souvenir for next time then we'll go ahead and we'll put them in the, um, our schedule six months down the road and uh, we have repeat business all right guys with that being said we'll catch you guys in a little bit and here we go so, I usually go over this several, several times just to make sure that we are all good. Go to the bottom, walk the bottom. Make sure that the bottom's all nice and clean. Come back up. Shut the top, back down. This basically is just one pass. Here we go. We do about 900 panels a day just with this brush. And you can see how quick and how nice this actually comes out. So we're basically doing one pass right here. We are done, that's it. This is done. I'm gonna go over it one more time just to make sure the customer knows that I did my job. Because if we come down too soon, the customer is gonna think, hey, you guys just went up there, you didn't clean the solar panels, but we do. With this brush, this brush is designed for solar panels there's nothing to it so after I'm done <clears throat> I'm literally gonna go out here and check that the wattage and see how much of an increase we got this is done guys I'm just Wasting DNI's water at this point. Take the bottom, clean the bottom lip one last time, and we're done. What I do 
from this point is I take pictures for the customer and let the customer see how good of a job uh, we did. There you go. All done. All right, guys, we are back and uh, we had just completed the panels. This is the corner panel what I was working on right here. And as you can see, this is all nice and clean, all nice and dry. We have the solar radiance meter here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn this on and we're going to change this. Uh, basically right here we're going to change that to um, Fahrenheit from Celsius so remember how to do that you hold this down that will flash and once that flashes you hit your arrow and that changes the Fahrenheit and now you have this uh, pretty much 77, 77 degrees right <clears throat> so now we're going to go ahead and just put this on here just like this so you want to put it the long way this is how you want to put it the long way not not this way but this way uh, and you want to go ahead and just put it basically right where we had it before so we're going to let this set for a quick second and <clears throat> I'm going to show you what the increase was. So let's take a look here. Here you go. 79 degrees. That's what the panel is right now. And it's at 971 watts per square meter. That is a huge increase. Now, if I go here to my inspection form, I had 460 and now we're at 970. So as you can see, big difference and it's going to pass at this point. All right, guys, this is how you check it after it rains. You can see the increase, the increase after we cleaned, doubled pretty much. So you're looking uh, at, uh, 460 watts per square meter when we started now we can go ahead and check this off as a pass at 971 the degree on the panel is actually going up because it's starting to get hotter now and that will uh that will increase okay uh as the sun there's nothing blocking the sun everything is pretty much blue skies over here beautiful and a little bit of clouds way over there but you got the sun hitting the panels very very nice and as you can see the results double of what they were getting before if you guys want this meter look in the description on this video below and you will find it there all right guys with that being said this I use for my inspections. This is one of the tools that I use for my inspections. It is an awesome tool. And this is great to give to the customer so they actually see um, the results before and after. With that being said, if you need our service, give us a call. 909-552-1381 and we'll clean your panels for you. Everybody, have a good day. See you on the next one. Peace.